Let's talk security. Well, software security for AV, that is. As you might know, QSIS is a software-based platform that provides audio, visual, and control processing, distribution, and management. The QSIS OS software stack allows us to advance QSIS to meet the growing feature needs of the industry and provide the flexibility to keep the ever-evolving security needs at the forefront of the system. Now, we have in-depth resources available that go deep into the security methodology, but let's start with a high-level overview of the key concepts. Behind the scenes, we use a series of industry standards and processes across the QSIS platform to strengthen and validate security. Our baseline standard is OWASP ASVS 4.0, which provides a set of principles for secure development and testing, focusing on identifying any vulnerabilities that could be exploited by an attacker. For the security-minded, you play an important part in configuring your QSIS system to give different types of users the appropriate level of access. That's because QSIS allows you to configure tiered user access. Role-based access controls let you highly customize permissions that each user has in order to comply with your specific security environment and best practices. Obviously, protecting the data that's traveling on your network is always a priority. So we base the QSIS encryption and cipher suites on the same technology that's used to build the World Wide Web, namely industry standard TLS 1.3, security hash algorithms, and AES encryption. In fact, here is a fun fact about the encryption we use and how hard it would be to break the key. If you enlisted the computational power of the entire Bitcoin network and tried to break this AES encryption key with brute force, it would take 70 septillion years to break it. You never know what kind of bad actors are out there, so we've implemented cryptographic code signing when updating your QSIS system. That means as long as your system is running QSIS Designer Software version 9.1.0 or later, the core will check all subsequent firmware updates for a digital signature, and by default, will only install firmware that is signed by QSC. This protects the core against illegitimate or unsafe firmware. Our engineers regularly evaluate the system using a series of tests white box testing to identify potential source code vulnerabilities, and black box testing to simulate attack attempts. We also perform full third-party penetration testing. These tests give us great confidence in the resiliency of the system and provides valuable information on infrastructure health for present and future security considerations. And that's just the beginning. We're always working to ensure that the QSIS OS, hardware, software applications, cloud infrastructure, and licensing technology are continuously scrutinized with security in mind. If you'd like a deeper dive, check out our security documentation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.